This is just another 80s geek, and as you can tell, you're tuned in for another episode of the Geek Showcase, where we highlight anything that you can be a geek about. Today we're doing a final, uh, for now at least, of my first round of uh, online purchases of retro toys and things of that nature. Um, so we're going to do a live unboxing here on the channel. You've seen us do a variety of things. We've had Ace McCloud, we've had Doc Terror, both of those were in pretty good condition. We had a massive Motu um, opening, which was all in real good condition. We had a Hordak, which was not the best as far as legs go, so that was a little bit more disappointing. I might have to get a replacement for that one. And we will see what this final one of this round uh, has in store for us. So this is the box. Size-wise, this is coming to us from um, not in America, I do not believe. I believe this one's coming from somewhere in Europe. So let's take a look and see what we have. All right, got some wadded up tape and plastic wrap. Well, that is interesting packing materials. You never know what you're going to get. All right, let's get that out of here. So, well, let's... Oh my, okay. We got both, as you, you guys have known, I've talked about this for a while, that I have a hero and a villain collection where we are collecting, I am collecting the main villain and the main hero from as many cartoons from my childhood as I can, like the main like action line, 80s, that type of thing. So, like I've used as an example before, Optimus Prime and Megatron, Skeletor and He-Man, Leonardo and Shredder, you know, things of that nature. Um, not always a clear cut, you know, who's the number one villain and who's the number one hero, but I try to get the main ones in my opinion. So this is going to be actually a set of both the main hero and the main villain from this series. So I got them both in one collection. So. And this is the main hero and the main villain from the cartoon Black Star from 1981. This would be John Black Star, and this would be Overlord. Um, let me get them out of the package here, the bags, and then we can talk a little bit more about them. This was kind of like a pre-He-Man um, series, and Filmation was in charge of this. The toys, uh, I believe, were made by Galoob. So this would be Galoob Toys. The toys should have came out about 1983 or 1984 uh, era, depending on which wave, etc. I believe. So um, you can see they both stand up fairly well here. Um, Overlord was voiced by the incredible, legendary Alan Oppenheimer, who would go on, obviously, to voice Skeletor in the main He-Man series. And funny enough, John... Blackstar was voiced by George Desenzo, um, who does the voice for Hordak in She-Ra, which is interesting because that's the last one of the last ones we've opened here. So he was a bad guy in She-Ra. He is the main hero here in Blackstar. So John Blackstar, voiced by George De, um, Desenzo, and Overlord, voiced by Alan Oppenheimer. Um, so again, this series is kind of like a pre-He-Man. You can see they're very He-Man-like um, as far as the figure goes. We'll look at Mr. John Blackstar. No accessories here. Um, leg movement. I mean, you have just the back and forth here. No bending of the knees or anything like that. So both legs, pretty good joints here. Um, just a little bit of, you can tell a little bit of paint coming off a little bit. Um, all of his fingers seem to be intact. There was a spot for a weapon, so I'm assuming I'm missing the accessories, so that might be something I'd have to get separately. Uh, arms move like that. Pretty tight joints there, as you could hear that. And then his face should be the squishy face, like He-Man, so you can squash him. Um, and then it does move side to side. It's almost the exact face of He-Man, actually. And then you have the cool gold neck piece on the back. See, he's got some type of gadget or gadget. This is a wheel of some sort. So I'll have to do some looking. Apparently that was connected to something because that definitely spins uh, as in a wheel. And then you can see the back of his neck piece there. Everything else, I'm guessing, 
with him. Don't see any trademark on him. I don't see any trademark stamp necessarily, but maybe it was on something else. So besides just a little bit of um, paint spots, just very, very almost not even noticeable. Main, the main ones that are noticeable are here on his um, thigh and missing the accessory, obviously, um, that I'm assuming that either, you know, his hand is fitted for something to fit in there. And then you have this back piece that obviously goes to something. Um, so outside of that... And I'll have to do some research on what that is. This is a great addition to my hero and villain collection. Let's take a quick look at Overlord. Classic look here, 80s villain. So you have, up close and personal here, you have this chess piece, which obviously has, with the way that it was designed, with some of these pieces that kind of stood out, there's going to be some obvious paint wear and tear there. You have the shoulder pieces, which are actually in pretty good shape. His face, most of the ones that I saw online, the face was where you would see a lot of the paint damage. And I'm super happy that we don't have that here. Obviously, his head turns just like Black Stars did. His arm fitted just the same way, designed just the same way as Black Stars, holding a similar weapon. I'm guessing this one's just a closed fist, whereas Black Stars was an open hand. So they both have the, the thumbs up on that side. This one has a closed fist, this one has an open hand when it comes to that. Um, not as much not as much paint wear and tear there. A little looser on the legs than the Black Star figure was, but still not bad, not like loose loose. And then on the back side, same thing, we have this wheel contraption. I'll have to do some research. I didn't collect these as a, a child, so I don't remember what that would be going to or what kind of how that all worked. It does have a couple holes here in his shoulder. Maybe something popped in there. And then he does have the trademark spot right there. Which says... Filmation? Let me take a close look at this. I believe that says 1983 Filmation Association. Oh, it's back there. So, stands very nice. I'd give these guys, like, outside of maybe missing the accessories, so maybe I'll dock a small point there, but these are like 9 out of 10 then, um, as far as what kind of shape they're in and what kind of condition they're in, the lack of paint wear and tear, not any loose joints. Um, so, this is an incredible purchase for me. I'm very happy this will fit in perfect with my heroes and villains. Display them in pairs like you would see them right here, or if I'll have all the heroes together and all the villains together. But either way, I cannot wait to add these two to the ranks of my hero and villain. Black Star is complete, and that makes this 80s geek a happy camper. Let's take a quick 360 look at each one of them, and then we'll be done with this episode of Geek Showcase.